Welcome back to Zach. I'm so glad you joined me for another video. I know it's been a while, but I've been working on some big things for you guys. And today, I have a really fun video just for you, and especially for BMW drivers. But if you own a car, this is a video you probably don't know about, and I want to tell you all about it. Here we go. Hey guys, so I, if you've watched my videos, you're a subscriber, you know I own a BMW. I love BMW, I've had them for probably 11, 12 years now, and I just really, really like the car. I've driven tons and tons of cars, uh, rentals and trying cars out from everywhere, from Aston Martins all the way down to, you know, Chevys and Fords and all that kind of stuff, Kias, Hondas, uh, Mercedes, Audi, so many different things. I love cars, I love trucks. Uh, I've driven and owned a lot of different vehicles and uh, owned a luxury rental car company one time. So I had Hummers and Audis and Lexuses and BMWs and all kinds of things that I've rented out. And so I got to drive them on Porsche, several Porsches, love, love, love cars, love trucks, and I've owned a lot of stuff too, personally. So I just got a brand new 2022 X5M, my first M, super excited. But I found a couple of things I didn't like about it. You know, I went, I'm a, I'm a conservative, so take it for what you want. You may want to stop watching this video, but I hope you don't because it's going to help you no matter what your political beliefs. But I'm just telling you that because I want you to know my mindset is when I purchase something, I believe that it's mine and I should better do what with it what I want, right? I mean, these companies today are let, charging you money, taxes and everything for products and then telling you what to do with them. And so for instance, the new X5 and from what I hear, the 2023s and ons, they have this auto on and off um, on their car. So you probably have it on yours. So when you come to a stop sign or a red light, if everything is just right, which most of the time it is, it cuts the engine off. And then you have to like take your foot off the brake and it kicks it back on. It's, to me, it's frustrating. I've tested it and, and written down everything and proven that it does nothing. It's all just fake crud. It doesn't save you on gas or anything like that. It's just an annoying green feature. And up until now, you could turn it off and it was off. And you, that was your right, you know, to turn it off. Well, now in the 2022s and I believe 2021s, there's a button that turns it off, but you have to push it every time you get in the car to turn it off. And it's annoying because you shouldn't have to do that. If you don't want it on, you should better turn it off. And then in 2023 and on, they're not gonna have that button at all. They're gonna force you to have this. So I just was like, what? And then number two on all of my cars, BMW or anything, I can't stand the seatbelt. Uh, I wear my seatbelts, I enjoy wearing my seatbelt, but sometimes you just need to be able to drive down the street or you're going through a parking lot. You don't need to put your seatbelt on, but that thing is dinging at you, bing, 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 bing. Uh, it is so annoying. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do a little research. As I do, you guys know that are subscribers, I love to do research and then figure things out and bring it to you here on the channel. And I found this cool thing called the OBD link. I did a lot, a lot of digging and watching YouTube videos, watch reading up blogs and stuff. And I found out that this little tiny thing, which this is just the brand I bought because it works best with the, the app I got, which is called Beamer Code and my BMW, but there's a lot of different versions of it. There's cheaper and expensive versions. This was kind of middle of the road and um, it was what was in stock. But this little thing goes up into your car, right? We're in the driver's seat down to the left where normally the trunk pulls and your, um, uh, I'm not your trunk pull, but uh, your hood pull is and stuff like that. It just there's a little slot there that goes up in it. Every car has one, old and new. Now, depending on the age of your car, you'll need different ones of these. But most of the time, it's pretty like a pretty big range. So just do a little research. I'll put a link down below. And it just comes in this little box. You open it up and you plug it in, which I'm going to show you. And then you download this app. For me, it was called Beamer Code. And I paid $40 a year for it. Or I may have just been $40 one time fee. I can't remember. But it lets you um, 
connect to this via Bluetooth with your iPhone or Android phone, and then it starts reading into the car the code and stuff, and it let me program my car to leave the auto off start on all the time so it doesn't cut my engine off ever. When I crank my car up every time now, that light is on, it's off, I'm good to go. I don't ever have to worry about reaching down there and going, oh, why is it shutting off? Click it. Also, it let me program the seat belt for the driver's side. I'm leaving everything else on for safety, but for the driver's side, I turned off all the seat belt notices because I wear my seat belt. I don't, I'm not a child. I don't need to be nannied by BMW or any other car company to tell me to wear my seat belt. As a free man, in America, I have the right to drive my car with or without a seatbelt. Yes, there are laws. Those laws are unconstitutional in my mind, but yes, there are laws, so you should follow them. It is more safer to drive with a seatbelt than I do. I prefer to wear a seatbelt, but I don't want to be nagged by my car that I'm paying a lot of money for to wear it. It's, it's, just, it's just stupid. So, if you have an Audi, if you have a Mercedes, if you have a Chevy, if you have a Ford, whatever you want, you can get this. Pull up the app. Right here, I'll show it to you. And just, just find the thing, and it just codes it. It will not brick your unit. It will not mess up your unit. It will not keep it from getting the normal updates from BMW or Mercedes or Audi. I've done tons and tons of research because I was, I was worried, will it void my warranty? Will it mess up anything? Nothing. It's just a really simple thing. Now, you can choose to leave this on. A lot of insurance companies are using these now to monitor you to nanny you to see if you're driving properly. And you probably take that little $20 credit, some of you, to let them know where you are, what you're doing, how you're driving every second, which I highly recommend you not do. But a lot of companies are using this. So you can use this personally to check your car out. There's other apps too. And the app you might be using can tell you diagnostics, can tell you why your engine light's on, why this is on. It can check your system for you. This is what mechanics use. They hook up their computer with this. It's really awesome. I know a lot of you watching this video probably could care less about this or you've never heard about this and now you're curious. So I'm gonna put a link down below, check it out. Go on to Google or DuckDuckGo, wherever you go and search for your vehicle and it is called OBD Link. That is the common name for everything. This is a CX because it's designed specifically for the Beamer Code app, but it'll, it'll work with any app. And quite frankly, um, this is the model CX-101, but quite frankly, if you have a Mercedes or an Audi, you just need to check out the year and check out OBD Link and see which, what works for you, what app works for you. There's tons of info out there. But I just wanted to tell you guys and show you because I was looking on YouTube and I couldn't find a video that just showed me how to put this in, all the little details. So I wanted to put this here. So it's really, really simple. You just look under the driver's side on the far left to where the, the hood pull is. And usually there's some other things there, some fuse box or something, and you'll see a little slot that fits this. It'll be a female version, this is a male version, and you just slide it up in there. And you'll see two lights come on, and then you'll get your app out and crank it up, and it'll rec it'll recognize this, it'll start asking, what do you want to connect to? And you'll pick the kind you want to connect to. I picked CBD Link CX 101, and it was like, okay, can we use your Bluetooth? Yes, and then it's, it starts lighting up. This will turn red in the middle and start telling you it's communicating. And then it'll pull up, like on mine, all the list of things I can control myself. And so you can go into deep different modules and choose on, off, and everything, and then set code, and it'll code it into the car, and boom, you're good. You do not have to leave this in. I, I've got it out right now. I just got it in my car. Everything's still the same way but you can leave it in and it'll monitor your car for you. You can pull up your app and it'll start monitoring through the app uh, different things. You can use different apps with it. It's kind of, it's just really cool. You might, if you're geeking out or you're nerding out a little bit on your car, you might just love playing with it. It's pretty cheap. I paid about $40 or I think $60 for this, for the, for the little, little insert, the little Bluetooth, it's a Bluetooth link. 
and I paid about $40 for the app. I did a lot of research. There's several different apps. Um, Beamer Code just it was everybody recommended because it it's really simple to use. It really worked. It connected immediately to this, no problems at all. And I was off to the races. I was off to the races. You do have to pay for it. It will let you use the free version to see things, but when you go to make the changes and actually do the coding, the communicate into here that codes into your car, you have to pay for it, which is fair. I mean, it's a pretty cheap. $40 is pretty cheap to, to not have to worry anymore. Like if, like today I was driving through a, a pretty big shopping center and I was going from one store to another store and I don't want to put my seatbelt on. I'm just literally driving at like 20 miles an hour or less, like 10 miles. And I don't want to hear the ding, 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 ding. And then um, I don't want the car to stop and start. I want my car to just always be on. The, especially in the hot heat here in Texas, I want the air running. I don't want problems, you know? So I know this is supposed to be a quick video, so hang with me. But I just really, really wanted you guys to get this and see this because I was like, what? I can tell my car what to do without voiding my warranty, without messing up updates, without any, I don't see anything different. In fact, my car works better now. It goes straight to CarPlay. It just really, really is nice and smooth. And I'm gonna get into it more and play with it some more. But these are just two simple things that I really needed to do to just better get in my car and drive it the way I wanted to drive it. And um, I just thought I have to share it with Mazakas Nation. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button because you want to become a subscriber. It's free to do so. You can cancel at any time and you're going to find out about cool stuff. We got things for men, connected home, stuff like this. Anything I find that's cool, I bring it to you here and... We're about to do the burn it or buy it series. So if I don't like it, I'm going to burn things just out of rage mostly, but I want to do it because it's going to be fun to see things burn. It's always fun to watch things burn. And I just really want to do this. It's called buy it or burn it. So that is coming. You want to hit subscribe button. So you're first to be notified when those go live. And we got some really cool products. My favorite soap for men. I've got all kinds of stuff like toothbrushes, connected home, um, robot vacuums, even my favorite water is on here. I just, it's a cool channel. It's just like a fun channel. You know, you just, you might like it, you might not, but one thing you will find here is honest reviews. I'm not affiliated. Yes, I use affiliated, affiliated links below, but they don't know I exist. Guys, if you go anywhere, any websites, they have some affiliate links. I make fractions of money to help afford this expensive channel. I don't make money off this channel. It, I promise you, I'm, I'm just here. I'm not being paid or sponsored or anything like that. I just love finding things like this, like for me, and then sharing it with you guys. And then you get to make the decision. Is this right for me? We'll watch another video, uh, whatever you want to do. And um, I am a red-blooded American conservative. I support police. And this is an awesome switchblade knife, by the way. And I just want to give you honest reviews so that you can spend your hard-earned money the right way and tell you about things that are bad, that you might want to take a second look at. With the buy it or burn it, that's what we're gonna be doing. And I will tell you straight up if I don't like it or if it's something you need to skip and try to offer you an alternative because I'm always searching for what's what's good. And again, if you're a man, we got tons of things for men. If you're a woman, you can look for things for your man. Um, we just got some crazy cool stuff that you're gonna love to check out. So come on, we're gonna be traveling I got all kinds of travel gear and my favorite luggage and everything. I even started a whole nother channel called Zacchaeus Travel because we are about to do some traveling. I just got back from Dubai. It was so amazing. You got to check all that out. That video is coming soon. So hit that subscribe button. And I really love seeing your beautiful faces. Thank you so much for watching this video and any of my other videos. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. And I will catch you in the next Zacchaeus video. Peace.